Hey, this is Jeremy Jansen, and what an exciting day we have today. I really never thought this was going to happen, but here we are. And of course, I'm talking about VST has come to reason. Yeah, here we are. This is Native Instruments Massive. So today I wanted to do a quick video showing off what it's like to work with Massive inside of Reason and how it's actually even more powerful working with Massive inside Reason as opposed to other standard DAWs. In fact, what's really amazing is that using Massive inside Reason can get around some of the old limitations that we've been living with inside Massive. And the one I want to talk about today is Massive's mono signal path. And what I mean by that is actually everything in Massive, the oscillators and the filters are all completely mono. They only become stereo if you add some stereo effects on the end or if you use unison voicing to make a wider sound by uh, getting some unison spread here and then uh, modulating the pan position. If you don't do that, it's a mono synth. Make no mistake, it's a truly amazing mono synth, but it still is. However, in Reason, let's just close these down for a minute and go back. In Reason, it's fairly straightforward to take two massives and hard pan them with a mixer, left and right, and all of a sudden we have a stereo version of massive. So we can run, let's actually, let's actually just play this patch, how about that? So you can probably hear lots of stereo motion there. And that's because we have two totally separate instances of massive running, running somewhat different patches. Left. Of course, once we get these massive instances inside a combinator, we can map whatever controls we want to the combinator controls, such as filter mix. I've got a parallel filter signal path set up here. So let's hear what that sounds like. That is one filter. Let's actually open up one of these here and you'll see this mix slider moving. And that is happening on both instances of Massive right now. Of course, we could automate that. We could also go into this CV programmer and uh, send like an LFO from Thor or something to modulate that if we wanted to. I haven't gone that far. Remember, this is just a quick look. Uh, I wanted to share this cool patch with you and show you just some of the basics of uh, how awesome VSTs are inside of Reason. Now, you might wonder if this is a way to kill your CPU running uh, two instances of Massive, but it's actually not that bad. I'm not using any uh, unison spread, so it's just single voices in Massive. It's not really that intense. Uh, and actually, we can use that as an opportunity to fatten up the sound with things like uh, Reason's very unique UN16 device, which I love. And then we've got the unique opportunity now of chaining some reason specific effects like alligator and compression and pulverizers. And now uh, let me just show you what it sounds like.
I've also got an envelope follower filter on here. Have a listen to that. This last rotary controls the frequency of the modulation oscillator inside Massive. And once again, it does it in both instances of Massive. I've got a pretty good tuning uh, going on here, but we can change it. I like how that envelope filter is fluttering right now. All right, well, I don't have too much more for today. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to show you this cool patch and show you how you can create truly stereo massive patches using two instances of massive inside a reason combinator. My mind is just blown right now with the possibilities. I am going to create so many incredible sounds and I want to make some incredible videos too. So let me know what you're interested in seeing now that VSTs and reason have combined. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jeremy Jansen. Cheers.